Hi friends. I'm so glad you could help read Isaiah and I with our first school garden. We decided to plant a garden, but we didn't have a lot of usable space to work with. We can use a container garden instead of planting it into the ground. We can even use containers that we already have, like iced tea jugs, soda bottles, and colanders, so we can conserve Earth's resources. These are the supplies I picked up. I hope we have everything we need. Wow, Mr. Simpson, you have more than enough to start a container garden. Should I take the different types of soil and put them in the pots, or should I mix them all together? You know, I wasn't sure which type of soil would work best, so I found them all. I can see that. We should try all the soils to see which one works best. This is going to be harder than I thought. Can you guys help us with our soil experiment? I think the best thing we can do is start by identifying the properties so I can compare them. It looks like we have quite a few different types of soil to work with. We have soil A, soil B, and soil C. Let's go inside and get a closer look. Okay guys, since we had a little bit of time, I thought it might be fun to mix all three types of soils into this mixture. So, as you can see, we have soil A, soil B, soil C, and I combined all three to create soil D. You know, it looks like there are plenty that these soil samples have in common. Well, all of our soils are solids and they all appear to be in the brown color family. But there are a number of properties that are different about the soils too. Soil B has a gritty texture, while each piece of soil C is smooth, and soil A feels soft with some bumpy pieces in it as well. Okay, I think we're ready to plant. Not just yet. We looked at the physical properties of the different soil types, but we still don't have a good idea of which soil is the best for growing plants. What else do we need to know? Well, think about plant growth for a minute. What else do plants need in order to thrive in their environment? Well, green plants need soil, water, and sunlight in order to grow. Right. We've got soil, we've got sunlight outside, and we've got plenty of water. But how can we test to see which soil retains or holds the most water? Pause the video and devise a test in your science journals. Okay, I think we figured out the perfect test for our soil types. We cut off the tops of our empty soda bottles, wrapped a coffee filter around the nozzle of each bottle, and secured it with a rubber band. We made sure to fill each bottle with exactly the same amount of soil, 100 milliliters. We set each bottle of soil with the nozzle side down, then we poured water into each bottle. We made sure the amount of water was equal to, also 100 milliliters. So then, our variable, or the only thing that varies or changes in our experiment, is our soil type. We kept the amount of water and soil the same, as well as the experiment setup. That way, we could accurately test one thing, which type of soil is the best at retaining water. So which one is it? Well, we need to measure how much water is in each graduated cylinder. The graduated cylinder containing the most water was soil C. Since water is in this graduated cylinder, that means that the water is not in the soil where we want it to be. So, soil C did not retain water well, and it would probably be the worst choice for growing plants. That means the reverse might be true as well. The soil that did retain water the best should have the least amount of water in the graduated cylinder. It looks like soil D had 58 milliliters of water left in the graduated cylinder. That's the least amount of water left in any of the graduated cylinders. Which means that soil D retained the most water, so it would probably be our best choice for growing plants. It looks like we have our answer, but maybe we should set up a second investigation, just in case. Okay. Let's take small cups and put soil in each of them. Then we can plant a couple of seeds in each cup. Don't forget to keep everything the same except for the soil types. Water the seeds every day and keep the cups in a sunny window. That way we can collect more evidence about which soil supported plant growth the best. And then we'll know which soil is to use for our container garden outside. Our garden is going to be awesome. See, See you, you next, next time. time.